There is, it's called financial limitation. There is something called limitation, called an embargo. When you look at your life, child of God, people of God, there are some persons that no matter how they try, when they try to save money, their money can never pass 500,000, it will go down. Yes, are you hearing me? Some person, when they try to save money, once he reach one million, it begins to go down. It can never pass. It's called financial limitation. They, they work very well. They are struggling. But there is a limit to which they cannot break. Some persons get to 10 million naira and they go down. Yes, Some get to 5 million and they go down. Nothing work again. Some persons, the moment they bought a land, they stop progressing for the past 10 15 20 years now since they bought the land nothing move again in their life it is a financial limitation something is blocking but this morning yeah. as you pray with me yeah. every limitation shall be removed I will be land again, Jesus. there was a limitation in the life of a man and what is the name of that man? That man was none other person than the person that every one of us know called Peter. Peter said, I have toiled all night. Yes, sir. And I could not get anything. That story be like some of us are here today. Yes, sir. Peter said, I have toiled all night. And I could not catch fish. Many of you have worked from January to June. There's nothing you can show for the work you work January to June. There is a limitation in your life. Peter said, I have worked all night. I have nothing to show. Many of you last year, you walk throughout the year. You do business. In fact, you, 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 even, you even leave to go to church every week. You say, okay, I will go to church once in the month or twice in the month. Let me do my business. Even on Sunday, if I, will, if, if I can turn up. And yet, at the end of the year, there was nothing to present. There is a limitation in your life. But this morning, today, because you are hearing my voice, it shall be broken. Listen to me, child. I want to tell you something. There are things that are responsible for li financial limitation and there's a way to break out of it. Some persons cannot save money. Some persons, they have what I call money don't meet money. It's a spirit. It's a challenge. Money don't meet money. If they manage to get 300,000 or 1 million naira, no other money will come again until that one finish. Many of you here, you are expressing it in your life. Thank God you came here today because after today, it shall be over. Amen. Many people are expressing this thing in their life. They are going through it. They are facing and suffering this thing. They are wondering what is happening to me. Are they work? Are they see money? Are they put money? But why can't I? Look at the things I have worked for a long time now. I can't see it. You can't see it. You have been working, seeing money, yet your building remained at foundation for many years now. You have been working, seeing money, yet your 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 house rent to pay it when is difficult. You have been working, seeing money, yet you cannot account for it. What the limitation? There are ways to break financial limitation in the life of your husband, the life of your brother, your sister, your wife, and your life as a young man. The man, you are here right now. Listen to me. There are ways to break financial limitation. Let me tell you what Jesus Christ said. What Jesus said to what Jesus said to his people. What Jesus taught. Them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because we are here to make sure. You will not live here with any limitation in Jesus' name. Every area of limitation, every area of limitation in the life of anyone here, by the power of the Holy Spirit, as you see that it shall be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. It shall be broken in the name of Jesus. 
Are you ready now? Look at this now. Go to the book of Matthew. I want to show something. Thank you, Father. Matthew. Matthew 7. If you are there, just... Matthew 7. Matthew 7. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 7, Thank you, Jesus. Are you in Matthew 7? In an Matthew 7. All right. Look at this now. It says, verse 17. Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruits, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruits. Fruit. What does that mean unto you? The tree we are our life, our finances is like a tree. It's like a tree. It's like a tree. A good tree will bring good fruit. A bad tree will bring bad fruit. You cannot, you cannot.